Hi, Omi. It's Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Well, I was thinking about you today and how you and Opa always went on these like crazy adventures. I thought I'd kind of tell you a bit about one of my last trips that I went on. Do you have a second to chat? Yeah, okay. So day one, we went to Drumheller, Alberta. The first stop was the Royal Terrell Museum, which is actually one of the world's largest exhibits of dinosaurs. They even had paleontologists on site working on recovering some fossils, which was pretty cool. Kind of felt like Ross from Friends. <laughs> And then later that day, Lizzie and I went kayaking on the Red Deer River. Well, some people kayaked, while others just let the river push them. <laughs> then we went to a spot called Horseshoe Canyon. Omi, you would have just loved this spot. We had this farm to table dinner overlooking the view with all our friends and the food was just so good. And then on day two, we drove to Writing on Stone Provincial Park and we did a quick tour of the various writings on stone or rock art from the Blackfoot or Aboriginal tribes. We took some photos on the rock formations for a bit, and then we went on a sunset canoe ride on the Milk River. Do you know why they call it the Milk River? Because apparently it looks like tea with milk in it. <laughs> and then while we were canoeing, all of these birds started flying in and out of their homes in the sandstone cliffs. It's really cool, they have these unique rock formations that are called the hoodoos. Super interesting. Pretty special spot. The next day we drove our camper van to Waterton National Park. That's in the southern part of Alberta. Oh, the drive-in was so gorgeous. It kind of reminded me of your home, Austria. And then we had just enough time to catch sunset, but it was super windy. Like the good windy where the photos look super dramatic. And then on day four, we woke up for sunrise and we rented e-bikes or uh, electric bikes, which were surprisingly fast. And we also saw bears. We even saw a baby bear. Then later that day, we headed down into Banff National Park. It was like a five hour drive or something like that. But we had just enough time to pop down to the water and catch sunset at Two Jack Lake. The next day, Lizzie and I got lunch at this spot called Park Distillery. They actually make their own vodka there. They had this one flavor that we tried called Chili Heat, which is super interesting. And then for food, we got brie and crackers as an appetizer and then uh, a veggie bowl. Lizzie and I are trying to eat a little bit more veggies veggie while we're bubble. traveling. I think the key word to remember there is trying. <laughs> then in the afternoon, we took the gondola to the top of Sulphur Mountain to watch sunset. We even caught up with our friends, Ben, Matthew, and Cody. We spent a few hours taking photos up there. And the funny thing is we actually almost missed the last gondola down because we were too busy taking photos. And then as we were running back, we were like, oh, our friend Cody hurt his leg the day before. So we actually had to carry him back to the gondola. But we did make it and the ride down was just like spectacular. On day six, we got together with our friends, Jay, Mark, and Brayden for breakfast. We drove a few hours into Pato Lake. I don't know if you've ever been to Pato Lake before, but this place is like something from a postcard. But my favorite part might have been the ground squirrels that live in the rocks there. They're so curious. So we hung out there for a few hours taking photos. And then that night, we stayed at the Chateau Lake Louise. Super classy and bougie. We ate at the restaurant called the Alpine Social. I did not eat as healthy there. I got myself a giant steak. The next day was the start of one of the most amazing days of my entire life. We experienced one of the rarest moments in Banff history. It snowed overnight in June and all the trees were covered in a blanket of white and the lake was exposed. The lake is that perfect blue color, like frost Gatorade blue. And usually this only happens in late September or October, but we could actually get into the water in those red canoes. This never happens. And as you can imagine, we took some of the best photos that we've ever taken in our entire lives. And then on our way into Jasper, we stopped back at Pato Lake just to see what it looked like with the snow. Oh man, it looks so good. Then we continued north through the park. We stopped at this one waterfall called Sun Wapta Falls. Omi, I wish you could have seen this thing. And then on the last day of our trip, we slept for like four hours and shot sunrise with our friends at Pyramid Lake and just enjoyed one of the most amazing drives back through Jasper. I'm calling it right now. That's my favorite scenic drive in the entire world. So yeah, that was our trip, Omi. It's kind of like the trips that you and Opa had. I don't know if I ever told you this, but you're actually the reason I chose to do this with my life. Huge inspiration for me to go out and see the world and just live it while we can. 
I just really hope you know how much I love you. Love you too, Christopher. Thank you so much for calling me. <laughs> of course. Love you. my afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye.